everyone. Thank you for watching. Today I am teaching you guys how to do contouring and highlighting using our POS contour palette. It is amazing. It's one of my favorites. I use it for on myself on a daily and on all of our brides. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do cream contouring first and then setting it with a powder contour. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you like what you see, continue watching. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So on my face right now, I only have my obviously the essentials the I have moisturizer on I have my primer on foundation primer then I put on my foundation and the foundation I'm wearing today is Bobbi Brown it's a foundation stick and it's in shade 3.5 which is their warm beige and I just basically went all over my face and gave myself a like a light dusting of this and um, used a beauty blender and blended it all into my skin um, on my eyes my eye makeup is completely done if you want to know how I did my brows, eyeliner, and whatnot, I do have previous videos um, down below, so you could go and take a look at those, but we're not going to be showing you that, because this part video primarily is just on contouring and highlighting. And I'm only going to be showing you what I do on my regular day-to-day -day basis, and sometime on bridal. Every face is individual, so you know, some people need more contouring, and some people need more highlighting. It's a case-by-case -case basis. But for myself, on a regular, this is what I do normally when I'm going out. I like to start off with a cream contour. And my favorite so far, or uh, right now, that I've been using a lot is Smashbox. And it's just like a contouring stick. This actually came in a box of three with a highlighter, a bronzer, and a contour. And I love this stick and look how much it's already riddled down to that much. I use it every day. But uh, when I'm using this, why I love it is because it's really precise. And I could apply as much as I need on my face um, without having too much coverage or if I really want a lot of contouring I just apply more so basically um, one thing with this is when you apply it you have to work fast so I don't like to do my whole face and then go and blend I apply and blend out as I need it so I'm gonna use um, a Mac 130 brush and basically I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the, uh, my contour stick where I need it now contouring contrary to belief should always be done with shades that are your skin tone when you're tanning. So never using plums or purples, just what your skin naturally would be with that when you're tanned is the shade that you should use for contouring. Maybe two shades lighter, uh, darker than you, that's about it. You shouldn't be able to see contouring. You basically want to put contours back or the um, onto your face after you've done your foundation where the hollows of your face are naturally lie. So for example, along your um, forehead, on your jawline to give it a chisel, to give yourself a chiseled jawline, in your cheekbones to like, you know, lift up your cheekbones and give them that defined uh, cheekbone look. So you basically only want to place it and um, where your nat natural shadows of your face fall. So I'm just gonna do that again. So I feel like I need a little bit more. And as I'm applying, making this line, I'm just going to buff it right into my skin with the surrounding foundation. Now, I'm gonna do my nose. And God knows I need a lot of help on my nose. I'm blessed with one of these big ones. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay, so I'm just blending that in. Now, if you really wanted a defined contour node, you could even do that right at the bridge there to give yourself a little point, like a little nice peek at your nose, little point. Okay, I'm gonna do along my um, forehead. And basically when I'm doing this, I'm blending it into my hairline. Cause I don't wanna see, I don't, I want, it, I want it to gradually, you know, fade into my foundation and into my hairline. I don't want to see that I have a ring of brown around my forehead. And if you apply too much, it's not a problem. Just take your beauty blender and blend it out with the foundation there. Okay, doing this side. And if you have a problem finding your cheekbone, just make a kissy face and you'll see it there. Or take the end of a, like a makeup brush and try to really find where your jawbone is or your cheekbone is and that's where it'll be. I'm gonna do my jawline. Now when doing the jawline, it's really important to A, start from the back of the ear. So do you see how I did that? I went all the way to the back of the ear. You want it to disappear. And when doing the jawline, you want it to blend it down into your neck. The last thing you want to do is have this severe line here. And now, you know, you made a joke or you're in a situation where you're laughing really hard. You're like, ha, 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 and you see a line. That's just a no-no. So try to blend it right into your neck there. It's a seamless transition. 
call this my gizzard. I hate my gizzard and I get rid of it. It's shaped, it like sheds five pounds off your face just by contouring. I love it. Okay, now if you wanna go even a step further, you could contour your collarbone here. I'm not really wearing a deep shirt, so I'm just gonna do like a really quick contour here. I mean, if you really wanted to take it to the next level, you would contour down here and then highlight, and it would really give you a defined collarbone, but I'm happy with that. Okay, now if let's say I wanted my cheeks to even look like I really wanted the centers or the apples of my cheek to really stand out and I wanted that like, like a, I wanted the focus to be my cheeks, what you could do is take your contouring stick and kind of draw in right around here to give your cheeks that lifted look and just by doing that, do you see now you can see my cheekbone um, and my, or my cheeks completely defined. It's almost like a Nike check. I like doing my contouring like this. And there you go. Once I'm done that, I am going to, so I'm doing all creams first and then I'm gonna do the powders. So I'm gonna do my highlighting now and then I'm gonna go back and set all my um, cream contour with a powder contour. And it's very important, anytime time you put anything like a liquid on your face, you have to set it with a powder to ensure that it lasts longer throughout the day and also um, it looks matte. Okay, so I'm gonna do my highlighting, which is gonna be basically my concealing with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's one of my favorites. And I'm, my shade is NC30, and it's quite light. I am actually an NW25, which is my natural skin color, but I really like that um, Kim Kardashian highlight where it's really light in the center of my face. So I'm gonna use a lighter color. And um, yeah, it's NC30. So I'm just putting it right onto my um, beauty blender here, and I'm just going to start concealing. And concealing essentially is a form of highlighting. I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Now, this process should not take you too, too long. Okay, so that's what it would look like. And when I'm doing my concealing, do you notice that I don't just do my under eyes, I go all the way up, um, on top of my uh, highlight here and on top of my contour because I really want this, my um, cheekbones to look like they're lifted and really high up on my face. So I really want them to stand out. So I take my, con uh, my sorry, my highlight all the way up. Just makes my face look so much brighter. Blend that in. All right, so that's now that that's nicely blended, I'm gonna go ahead and set all my cream contouring and highlighting with a powder. Okay, so now we have to set this cream contour and highlight with a powder, and today I'm gonna be using the Pink Orchid Studio Contouring Palette. And when you open this palette up, it comes with an instruction booklet. It's the contouring powders. It shows you how to use the contouring and um, uh, the highlighting powders, kind of like what this video, but, but in a little diagram right there. So in the palette, we have three highlights and we have three contours. We also have um, a like a metallic highlight and we also have a bronzer, which has a little bit of shimmer in it. And it's perfect because I do love using bronzer, but only on top of my um, contour. So these two right here is primarily what I would use um, to you know, now go over my cream contouring. So depending on the shade of your face, you would just choose which color best suits you. I am gonna be using the darker shade on my around the perimeter of my face on my cheekbones and maybe the lighter shade here on around my nose because I don't want it to be so harsh. I'm gonna take this uh, NARS brush, it's just a flat brush here, and I'm gonna start my contouring. So taking that darker color, and I'm just contouring exactly where I put the cream. I'm gonna go over it with the powder. And remember to blend it down your neck. I'm gonna set this back on. And the lighter color. Oh my nose. Wow. 
what a difference contouring makes, seriously. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna take these two colors. The banana color in the middle is one of my favorite colors to put underneath my eyes. And it basically actually works as a color corrector as well because it will get rid of all the darkness um, or the dark circles under your eyes. So I'm gonna take that middle color and just set my concealer. The banana powder go over. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna go over it with this matte lighter color just to give me an extra boost of highlight. Wow, I love that way that looks. Okay, and I'm gonna go into my um, pearl, this pearly kind of shimmery um, highlight here. I'm gonna go over it with, this brush is um, the MAC 137. I'm just gonna place that where I want my face to be glisten. Like basically where the light would naturally hit my face and I would want it to glisten, that's where I'm gonna do that. I don't do it all over my face, I only do it above my cheekbones here. Maybe on my forehead. Not on my nose because I don't want it to look oily or shiny and maybe right there. Now you could set your face with powder. I am happy with the way this looks. Just gonna quickly take a clean brush and blend everything together. And this brush is by MAC, it is the 133. I'm just gonna Take the lighter color right here that I'm just gonna dust the rest of my face and blend up all the colors together. And I'm just using a clean MAC brush, MAC 137, I believe, 33, MAC 138. <laughs> blend it all together. Now I'm almost done. I pretty much just have to do blush. I've already had my lipstick, my eye makeup completely done. I'm gonna use MAC Pinchel Peach. Just have the apples of my cheek right here. Contrary to belief, when you're doing your um, blush, you should not go all the way up. Just keep it right at the apples of the cheek, right there. Bronzer should be here, blush should be here. Contouring and highlighting, bronzer, blush. And if I do, I, I actually even like going over that pinch of peach brush with a uh, blush with uh, Petal Power by MAC, and it just has a little bit more shimmer. I like shimmer on my face. All right, I'm just gonna set my face with Fix Plus. I'm gonna cover my eyes because I'm not wearing waterproof makeup and sometimes it runs. I love Fix Plus, it brings me to life. So I feel like when I do this, it's like set it and forget it. Okay, I'm basically bathe in this stuff. Okay, once that dries, I'm gonna be ready to go out the door. So that's pretty much it. Oh, on my lips, I am wearing a Pink Orchid Studio Cream Color. We just got these, are, it's an amazing formulation. It's basically a cream uh, lipstick, and I'm not wearing anything else, just this. No lip liner or anything, and it is called Soho. It's one of our, we named them after the cities that we've traveled to, or some of our favorite cities, and it's Soho. Okay, there you go. I am done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was super easy, super quick. It should not take you that long and it shouldn't be that complicated and um, just have fun with your makeup and I hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it for you. Leave your comments below um, with anything else that you'd like to see or any comments or feedback that you'd like to leave me. Once again, thanks for watching our video and um, take care. Bye.